Hi everyone, it's Jennifer with Paper Crafting Adventures. Thank you for stopping by the channel today. And today I am here with Birch Press Design, who has a brand new release. And I am featuring the Vivid Bloom Nested Die Set, along with the Honey Script Hugs. And I just thought it was a great time to show a really fast, easy card. And it's also a great way to give a paper hug. Now notice the background is very subtle, but there is uh, another design in the background, and that is the beveled honeycomb layer plate. And it comes in a set of three, and I'm using the top layer of that set. Also, I'm using the honey script hugs, and it comes with a shadow that I'm not using. And finally, the star of the show, which is the Vivid Bloom Nested Die Set. This is a set of six dies that are nesting dies. So they can be used as frames, they can be used as windows, they could be layered on top of each other, they can uh, make really cool um, interactive elements for a window card. They can be banners, they can be uh, tags. I love nested dies. And these are really fun for spring because they're a bloom and all those wonderful spring colors can be used. Also, the Cottage Meadow is the paper that I'll be using for one of the cards that I'll show towards the end, and this is the sheet that I used. This is a very simple card to make, pretty much it's just layering, and I started off with a four and a quarter by five and a half inch uh, Gina K lipstick. I think this is one of my new favorite colors for this spring because it is so bright and a very unique color. I just love it, and there are matching envelopes for this, and I love that too. So I just cut each layer slightly smaller than the layer underneath it. So I think it was a quarter of an inch smaller each layer. And then I added in the little honeycomb. And here I'm using the largest of the bloom um, set to kind of show you that size. But I'm also going to show you a card that I made out of a smaller um, layer. And I love the look of that one too. But you can see here that I'm using frames. And to make these frames, I just uh, nested two together, ran it through the die cutting machine, and that gave me a frame. And I based the entire card off of this scrap piece of watercolor that I had sitting around. It was just a piece that I had watercolored, some colors that I liked on, and so I just went to my stash and pulled colors that matched that. And so that is the center, and then I thought a white um, hugs would be really bright and um, stand out, and so that's what I used for the hugs. I did layer two layers so that it would stick up just a little bit. And then you can see I'm just gluing it to the base, and I used a very heavy base, a 110 pound uh, Nina White cardstock. And you can see that I cut it uh, just a little bit too big, so I'm just trimming it off with my guillotine trimmer. Next, I just put some yellow on yellow, um, yellow sequins on the yellow paper. I wanted there to be a little bit of sparkle in the corners, but I didn't want it to take away from the focal image. Now, I did put a whole bunch of sequins on this card. <laughs> I wanted there to be a lot of bling. Um, you know, you definitely wouldn't have to put this much on it, but I wanted it to be kind of overdone um, and just super sparkly, super happy, and... Um, definitely something that would catch some light while it's sitting out on the counter. Now this card is the one that shows a smaller background and these are the same size layers but they're staggered. So you've got this the largest layer there on the left and then on the right you see the smaller um, same size frames but just staggered so the petals poke out the bottom and here's a completely different color combination i used that cottage meadow from memory box and you could use any kind of pattern paper for the centers here now on this card i actually uh, wound up using three layers for the hugs because i did wink of stella with the glossy accents but that was way too much even for this card so i just went over top of it with some white and so you can kind of see it poking through the sides i kind of like the look of it you know it's kind of fun when you make a mistake and you wind up really liking it and maybe even using that technique on future cards so i am going to experiment with that one some more so I hope you have fun pulling out your nested dies. If you need some, head on over to the Birch Press blog where you have a chance to win these dies this week. I'll put a link down in the description for that blog post. Have a great day. We'll see you again soon.